Drug houses are mushrooming in the Western Cape, leading to a spike in gang and domestic violence, as well as sexual offences. Community organisations and Neighbourhood Watch members say the drug trade is flourishing as more and more people, especially children, become addicted. There are now more drug houses than schools, according to the Western Cape government. Aisha Ismail reports. I've said the fact that there's more known drug houses than actual schools because the numbers that we have received from the South African Police Service actually confirm that we currently have 1,819 known drug houses. In 2021, I think many will also remember, I formally lodged a complaint with the police ombudsman to investigate why we are not shutting down these known drug houses. In the area where we are currently is where I grew up and I personally know of a drug house that have sold drugs to three generations, a grandfather, a father and a grandson. He says there's been a 15% increase in known drug houses over the last year. When we consider gang violence and flare-ups, it's often as a result of a turf war which is associated to the selling of drugs because criminals have become extremely clever. Hence, we have um, in my engagements with the PC to ask directly for crime intelligence to play a bigger role in that regard. Also for Section 252 of the Criminal Procedure Act, which does allow for sting operations to be conducted, which we want to see more of. And in that regard, over the last year, we have actually closed 457 known drug houses. And then after a couple of weeks, they will open up again. Alan is calling on communities to stand together and to continue reporting those who sell drugs in their areas. This, he says, can be done anonymously. Fatima Osman from the anti-gang and drugs organization PAGAD says with the increase in drug houses, communities are reaching out to them. Our office gets many calls and the people are phoning us left, right and centre. Um, but when we ask them to get a group together, we'll come out and then they'll say, no, no, um, you know, can we come and sort the drugs? So people have this fear of standing up. We get a lot of calls to come and help. Come and join the group so that you can raise your concerns. Yes. There's a lot of unknown drug houses. And then there's the subtle drug houses, you know. Um, the community will say, you know, you see that that's a drug house, you'll see the children that are addicted to the drugs, they will go to these houses and everybody will know that that's a drug house. And then there's the one where you don't see much movement, but you'll just see them collecting packets in the garden or in the drain or just outside the houses. We've experienced um, when they drug, there's been abuse. Uh, sexual abuse, um, they hit their mothers. Police say integrated forces as well as force multipliers are being deployed to hotspots on a weekly basis. They say they are having some success through information supplied to them by community members. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.